So this is a quick video on how to fix the an issue with, between Samba and Mac OS X, where when you try to copy files to a Samba share, you get an error that says the file is already in use. I believe this is mostly related to the Samba implementation on Linux because one, I got it, I got the issue when I tried to copy a bunch of JPEG files like these over to my uh, my Samba. Um, Samba shares that are running on an Ubuntu server. And so like I can simulate that now, this test folder here is on that share. You can see it creates like a bunch of like hidden files, hence why they're gray. And then you get this error, right? And sometimes it goes through five or six or seven of them. Sometimes it literally hits one and dies, but it says the operation can't be completed because the item is in use, you know, whatever that means. Um, but the fix that I've found finally after digging around for a while was these two settings in your smb.comp file to basically veto specific files that Mac will be trying to write and um, and then just basically deleting them. So essentially just rejecting those files at the Samba layer instead of worrying about like fixing your Mac settings or something like that. Because I did see another person suggested that you get rid of, you disable some setting on your, your Mac that prevents it from writing those files as well. So, but basically instead of trying to fix a bunch of Macs, if you have multiple Macs connecting to one Samba share, you could just fix a Samba share that would prevent the or stop the Macs from having this issue. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK, and you can see only one file made it. It is what it is, right? All right, so now what I want to show you is um, in my SMB share here, share, excuse me, a comp file, I've got, I've got these two, two uh, variables here. One's called veto files. So I'm going to go ahead and uncomment these. So veto files. So basically look for anything that's dot underscore star dot DS store dot trashes dot temporary items and then delete them. So it won't actually write them. So remember when we were copying those the first time you saw a bunch of all the files were great. It's because I think that's creating like a bunch of dot underscore and the file name. And maybe that maybe Samba just doesn't agree with those files or maybe the way that Mac writes that file first and then tries to actually write the real file. I don't know what's happening on the Samba side, but by preventing these specific or unique Mac files, for whatever reason Mac decides it needs to do these, you can just reject them at the file server, the Samba share, um, then it, it no longer has the problem. So we'll go ahead and, and uh, put these in the SMB share. It needs to be under the global heading, by the way. I don't know if I just said that. Um, and I'll put these in the uh, description so you can just copy paste them out. So I'm gonna go ahead and right quit, save that. I'm gonna restart the SMB service. And now when I copy these files, which we can even grab a larger block if you want, like I'm just going to grab all of these, it will actually copy these files successfully without failure. And you can also see that uh, it doesn't have, like, see how these are not hidden files anymore? They're not gray like they were before. That's because the SMB shares essentially preventing um, those unique files from even being written. So Mac isn't able to, to do that. So, um, and you can see it's, it's successfully copying. Let me move this out of the way. You can see the copy box is still going, and these and it hasn't it hasn't failed or stopped. And so, I don't know um, if this will work on every implementation, especially if you've got like a NAS file or maybe you can't even get to the SMB.comp file or the Samba configuration to add those. But but if you could, then that would likely be the resolution for those filers as well as your custom Samba implementation, like I'm doing. Uh, so that's going to be it for this video. I know it was short and quick, but uh, hopefully it was useful for you. I know it took me quite some time to find the solution. Um, so hopefully you find this faster than it took me to find them. See you on the next one.